Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Hi everyone, so in this video, we are going to revise relationship between displacement, velocity, acceleration and energy. So let's get started. So here we have a simple pendulum. So this is the equilibrium position. We're at equilibrium position x is equal to 0 meter. So let's say the pendulum is at x equal to 0 meter. Jadi kita nak tengok when the mass is at equilibrium position. So what is the value of the velocity, acceleration, kinetic energy and also potential energy of the object. So let's recall the equation of velocity in terms of displacement where v is equal to plus minus omega square root a squared minus x squared. Since the object is at equilibrium position, so when we substitute the value of x equal to zero in this equation, we're gonna get the value of velocity is maximum at equilibrium position which is equal to plus minus omega a. So remember that the sign of plus minus indicates the direction of the motion of the mass. Dan bagaimana pula kinetic energy when the mass is at equilibrium position? Sama juga macam tadi, let's substitute the value of x equal to zero dan awak akan dapat satu nilai kinetic energy where kinetic energy is maximum at equilibrium position where k is equal to half k a squared ataupun kita boleh gantikan k dengan m omega squared therefore k maximum is equal to half m omega squared a squared jadi kena ingat at equilibrium position v maximum and kinetic energy is also maximum and now, how about the potential energy of the mass when at equilibrium position? So, let's recall the equation of potential energy U, where U is equal to half kx squared. Jadi, dekat sini, kalau kita substitute nilai x equal to zero, automatically, the value of potential energy at equilibrium position will become zero. Okay? So, seterusnya kita akan tengok pula relationship antara displacement and acceleration. Okay, so since the equation of acceleration is equal to negative omega squared x, dan kita substitute x is equal to zero, jadi kita akan dapat nilai acceleration at equilibrium position is equal to zero meter per second squared. Okay, so ini perkara yang paling penting yang awak kena ingat. Okay, at equilibrium position, x is equal to zero. What happened to the acceleration? The acceleration is equal to zero. The potential energy is equal to zero, but the velocity and the kinetic energy at equilibrium position is maximum. Okay, so now let's move to the another discussion. When the mass or the object is at maximum displacement which is at amplitude of positive a or negative a. So now look at here that the position of the pendulum is at x equal to positive a. So when we substitute the value of x equal to positive a in acceleration equation, kita akan dapat equation acceleration kita bersamaan dengan negative omega squared a. So kita nampak dekat sini when the position of the mass at x equal to positive a iaitu maximum displacement nilai acceleration at that position is maximum which is equal to negative omega squared a. Dan simbol negatif ini menunjukkan direction of the acceleration at that position is to the left and remember in part 1, we have discussed that the direction of the acceleration 
always opposite direction with the displacement and the direction of the acceleration always towards to the equilibrium position. Boleh? Sekarang kita tengok pula bagaimana kalau objek berada pada x equal to negative a. So let's substitute the value of x equal to negative a ke dalam equation acceleration. Dan bila kita substitute nilai x equal to negative a, we will get the value of the acceleration at position negative a is equal to positive omega squared a. Di mana at maximum displacement, either positive a or negative a, the value of the acceleration is maximum which is equal to plus minus omega squared a. Dan kalau kita tengok dekat sini pada kedudukan negative a, nilai acceleration is equal to positive sign means that the direction of the acceleration at that position is to the right which is positive direction. So now let's discuss about the velocity of the mass at maximum displacement which is at positive a or negative a. So if we substitute x equal to positive a or negative a in equation of velocity, so kita akan nampak dekat sini when a squared minus a squared, it will become zero. Therefore, v is minimum at maximum displacement. Remember, when the position of the object at positive a or negative a, the value of velocity is equal to zero. Jadi kalau you perasan, dia akan jadi terbalik dengan equilibrium position. Where at equilibrium position, V is maximum but at positive amplitude or negative amplitude, the velocity is minimum which is equal to zero. And now how about the kinetic energy at maximum displacement? So since V is equal to zero at maximum displacement, Therefore, kinetic energy also equal to zero. Remember, the general equation for the kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared. So when v is equal to zero, automatically kinetic energy at maximum displacement also equal to zero. Tapi nilai potential energy dekat maximum displacement positive A dan negative A bukan kosong since the equation of the potential energy is equal to half kx squared. Jadi kalau nilai x ini kita gantikan dengan positive amplitude or negative amplitude, kita akan dapat potential energy at maximum displacement is equal to half ka squared. So, sama juga when the position of the mass is at x equal to negative a, the value of the potential energy at maximum displacement is equal to half ka squared. Jadi, ini adalah perkara-perkara yang penting yang you perlu tahu. Okay? Dekat equilibrium position, siapa yang kosong, siapa yang maximum. Dekat maximum displacement pula, siapa yang kosong dan siapa pula yang maximum value. Jadi, ini penting dan perlu ingat. Okay? Jadi, sekarang kita beralih pula kepada graph of energy against displacement E x graph. Jadi dalam graph ini you boleh lihat kita ada dua graph yang berbeza. Okay, we have blue color and orange color. Where the blue line represents the graph of kinetic energy while the orange line represents the graph of potential energy. Okay, so daripada apa yang kita dah discuss sebentar tadi, apa kata kita cuba lihat berdasarkan graph yang dipaparkan. Okay, so kita akan mulakan dengan graph kinetic energy dulu. So at equilibrium position, as we have discussed before, the equilibrium position, nilai kinetic energy is maximum. Alright, where kinetic energy at equilibrium position is equal to half ka squared. Jadi kita boleh tandakan dekat sini. Okay, but what happened to the kinetic energy at maximum displacement A? and negative a. Kalau kita dah discuss tadi, at maximum displacement, the value of the kinetic energy is equal to zero dan kita boleh tandakan dekat sini where kinetic energy is equal to zero at a and at negative a. 
Ok Jadi berdasarkan plotted point yang kita tandakan ini So kita boleh nampak That the blue color is the graph of kinetic energy So now let's move to the orange graph So let's start with equilibrium position Where at equilibrium position The value of potential energy U is equal to zero Okay, dia terbalik dengan kinetic energy tadi. Tetapi, nilai potential energy pada maximum displacement A and negative A is not equal to zero. But at maximum displacement A and negative A, the value of the potential energy is maximum where U is equal to half K A squared. Jadi kita boleh tandakan dekat sini seperti yang ditunjukkan di dalam graf ini. Okay. Sama juga dekat negatif A kita boleh tandakan dan kita boleh nampak nilai potential energy at negatif A which is maximum amplitude is equal to half K A squared. Sekarang kita beralih pula pada satu persoalan. How about the total energy? Okay, so now we will discuss about total energy at three positions. Maximum amplitude negatif A, equilibrium position and also maximum amplitude positive A. Jadi kita nak tengok apakah equation of total energy at maximum displacement positive A and negative A dan juga at equilibrium position. Okay, so kita akan mulakan dahulu dengan negative A. So when x equal to negative A, we can write total energy of the simple harmonic motion E is equal to potential energy U plus kinetic energy. Alright, so as we know at position of negative A, the potential energy is maximum but the kinetic energy is equal to zero. So we can see here that equation of the total energy at X equal to negative A is equal to half K A squared. Boleh? And how about the total energy at positive A? So when the object is at positive A, the value of the potential also maximum. But the kinetic energy is equal to zero. Jadi kalau kita masukkan dalam equation, kita akan dapat equation of total energy when x equal to positive A is equal to half K A squared. Sama macam equation di atas tadi. Okay. Sekarang kita akan discuss pula what happened to the total energy at x equal to zero which is at equilibrium position. So kita akan tulis E is equal to U plus KE and remember at equilibrium position U is equal to zero but kinetic energy at equilibrium position is equal to half K A squared. Jadi kita boleh masukkan dalam equation di sini. Therefore, the equation of the total energy at equilibrium position is also equal to half K A squared. Hmm, kita nampak sama kan ketiga-tiganya. So now we can draw a horizontal line that represents the total energy of the simple harmonic motion. Okay, where total energy E always equal to half K A squared. Tak kira lah dekat mana. Dekat negative A ataupun dekat equilibrium position ataupun dekat positive A. The value of the total energy is constant and it is equal to half K A squared. Dan sebelum kita berakhir, saya nak ingatkan lagi sekali that K is equal to M omega squared. Okay, jangan lupa relationship antara K, M and omega where K is equal to M omega squared. Jadi saya rasa itu saja untuk video kali ini dan semoga kita jumpa lagi dalam video seterusnya okay, iaitu part 5. So jangan lupa like and share the video untuk support channel ini. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum dan jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.